Geneva Motor Show 2017, Preview, New Cars, and Pre-Show Information The 2017 edition of the Geneva Motor Show gets underway early next week. Here's our comprehensive preview of what to expect. The biggest motor show on the European calendar is almost here. The 2017 Geneva Motor Show gets underway early next week, and you've come to the right place for full, in-depth coverage, plus video and photos from the show. With the big reveals just days away now, we've received plenty of pre-show information from all the top manufacturers. We've also got a good idea as to what the big car makers have hidden up their sleeves, though judging by past years, surprises can happen. Year in year out, it's a hotbed of activity for new car launches and big news scoops. The show has been running since 1905 and currently takes place every year at the Geneva's Pale Expo Exposition Center, with this year's edition the 87th overall kicking off on March 7, 2017 with the first of two press days. The Geneva show opens to the public on March 9 and tickets are still on sale. As always, we're going to be treated to an incredible collection of new production cars and concept cars. Highlights will include the reveal of the new Renault Alpine A110, seats all new Ibiza Super Mini, the Range Rover Velar SUV and the facelift of the ever-popular Nissan Qashqai. Add in the usual bumper collection of Geneva Motor Show supercars and models fettled by the various tuning houses and you have a recipe that will have any self-respecting car fan salivating. As always, the Auto Express team will be out in force at Geneva 2017, bringing you the best pictures, interviews, breaking news stories and video reports on all of the key show cars, live. Geneva 2017 the key cars. The major new car launch is coming at this year's Geneva Motor Show. Alpine A110, Renault sports car sub-brand to be reborn with all new A110, 56 years on from the original car's introduction. Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport, Vauxhall to go push further up market with plush four-door coupe. Volkswagen Arteon, New VW Saloon to replace Passat CC will take on BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. CD Visa, new seat Super Mini to get fresh looks ahead of all new Arona crossover. Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, all new crossover will inject some style into Mitsubishi's range and take on the Cash K. Nissan Cash K facelift, Britain's best selling crossover to get minor styling tweaks but big tech upgrades. Range Rover Velar, Geneva reveal likely for new Range Rover bridging the gap between Evoque and Range Rover Sport. Ferrari 812 Superfast, Ferrari's replacement for the F12 has a 6.5-liter V12 and 789 bhp. Ford Fiesta ST, next-generation Ford Hot Hatch gets cleaner 1.5-liter 3-cylinder engine with 197 bhp. DS7 Crossback, DS range to Sprout Range Rover Evoque rival with hybrid power and autonomous tech. Volvo XC60, new Volvo 5-seat SUV set to inherit on XC90 looks an equally plush cabin. Geneva Motor Show 2017, the cars in detail. Alpine. Renault has been brewing a rebirth of the Alpine brand for some time now, at At Geneva next week we'll see the fruits of the firm's labor in the form of the reborn 2017 A110, taking the iconic nameplate into the 21st century. Alpine recently revealed that its Porsche Cayman rival will make use of a lightweight aluminium construction, will be mid-engined and will have a price tag around £50,000. Aston Martin after it arguably stole the 2016 Geneva show with the all-new Aston Martin DB11, the brand is keeping interest in its elegant supercar on the boil with its new bespoke Q personalization program. The DB11 at the show will be finished in Zafra blue paint, with carbon fiber details on the splitter, sills, diffuser, and door mirrors. Audi Audi has confirmed its new super hatch will put in an appearance at the show the RS3 Sportback. 
The new car boasts a reworked 2.5-liter 5-cylinder turbo engine packing 395 bhp and 480 nm of torque, and with a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox plus quattro all-wheel drive it's capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and a top speed of 174 miles per hour with a 155 miles per hour electronic limiter removed. Audi may also treat us to a look at the production version of the Q8, possibly in SQ8 guys. Bentley Bentley's ultra-luxury in-house customization wing, Mulliner, has gotten its silk-gloved hands on the Bentayga SUV once again. The brand is wheeling out its latest customization creation, which has two-tone paint, unique 22-inch wheels, exclusive interior choices and Mulliner embroidery. BMW BMW's headline act at Geneva this year will be its new 5 Series Touring Estate. The most practical 5ER yet is 36mm longer than the previous generation, and will take on a raft of recent estate talent like the Volvo V90 and the Mercedes E-Class Estate. There is also new i8 Special Edition, 2, Protonic Frozen Black. Citroen much like the Vauxhall Maeva morphing into the Crossland X and the Peugeot 3008 getting a more rugged look, this Sea Air Cross concept shows how the next generation Citroen C3 Picasso will be morphing into an SUV. Design cues from the new Citroen C3 are everywhere, including the slim LED headlights and air bump inspired door sills. Dacia Dacia's cheap and cheerful estate gets the rugged treatment in the form of a new stepway version. The new Dacia Logan MCV Stepway, to give it its full title, is essentially a cut-price Skoda Octavia Scout and is a way for Dacia to cash in on buyers' appetite for more rugged models. Some new Summit Special Editions will also brighten up Dacia's Geneva stand. Dendrobium A new all-electric hypercar concept from Singaporean electric vehicle makers Vanda Electric is poised to appear at the show. So far the company has revealed that its hypercar has been developed jointly with Williams Advanced Engineering the technology wing of the Williams Formula One team, while the murky teaser shots provided hint at the car's low, angular, and aerodynamic bodywork. DS The DS brand will set out its mid-sized SUV stall in Geneva with the DS7 Crossback. It'll be a rival for the Audi Q5 when it arrives on sale later this year and will serve as the DS brand's flagship model. Distinctive styling, hybrid power and autonomous driving features make the cut. Eden Green One of the most mysterious cars heading into the show is the Eden Green Black Quilin. Only one teaser shot has been revealed this dark sketch plotting the car's outline but it's clear that the new British sports car maker is prepping a retro-futuristic Morgan rival. We'll get more details closer to the show. Ferrari Ferrari will debut a new flagship Grand Tourer this year boasting the most powerful naturally aspirated V12 engine it has ever fitted in a series production car. Called the 812 Superfast, its 6.5-liter V12 engine produces 789 bhp for 0 to 62 mph in 2.9 seconds and a top speed over 211 mph. We'll have more details plus exclusive pictures of its aggressive bodywork when the show kicks off next month. Ford Although we've already seen it and it's been fully unveiled, the all-new Ford Fiesta will inevitably make its first public debut at the 2017 Geneva show. It's arguably one of the year's most important cars, and comes in a range of new guises including an active crossover model and a luxurious vinyl model. The sheets are being reserved for a new Fiesta ST model, which will make its debut at the show with a 197 bhp 1.5 liter 3 cylinder engine. Honda Headline act for Honda this year will be the official reveal of the next generation Civic Type R, building on the merits of the current model by sticking with a 2.0 liter VTEC turbocharged engine. Based on the 10th generation Civic, it should continue to be an aggressive looking thing if the Civic Type R concept revealed last year at the Paris Motor Show is anything to go by. Hyundai Hyundai's new load lugger, the i30 Tourer, will make its public debut at Pale Expo. 
the capacious estate will rival the Vauxhall Astra Sports Tourer and the Ford Focus estate when it goes on sale later this year. In fact, the new i30 Tourer trumps the Astra estate for load space. Infiniti Infiniti will debut a new concept car based on the Q60 Coupe, highlighting the technical partnership between Nissan's premium brand the Renault Sport Formula One team. Called the Q60 Project Black S, no powertrain revisions make their way onto the aggressively restyled coupe, though Infiniti intends to incorporate Renault's Formula One Energy Recovery System, ERS, at a later date, which could turn power up to 500 bhp. Ital Design Ital Design will unveil this new V10-powered supercar filled with gills, vents and angles. Since Ital Design is part of VW Group, it uses the same engine found in the Audi R8 and Lamborghini Huracan, and is capable of topping out at 205 miles per hour. Jaguar Although we've already seen it at the La Motor Show, Jaguar is wheeling out the I-Pace concept once again, this time in red. We'll also get to see the brand's revised F-Pace, XE and XF models. All three of these cars have improved engine ranges and more tech on board. Con. Following on from last year's reveal of the Aston Martin DB9-based WB12 Vengeance Coupe, Con will return to the Geneva show with a convertible version the Vengeance Volante. Expect the original 510bhp 6.0-liter V12 engine to remain in place, with a price tag exceeding £300,000. Kia. The next generation Kia Picanto is coming to Geneva before going on sale in the UK this spring, and Kia has already revealed pictures of its new city car in racy GT line trim. The new Picanto gets a 15mm longer wheelbase for a little extra space in the new cabin, but it's no longer than the outgoing car. Engines should be shared with the latest Hyundai i10, meaning a 6.5 bhp 1.0 liter 3 cylinder and an 8.5 bhp 1.25 liter 4 pot. Lamborghini One of the likely supercar reveals at this year's show will be over on the Lamborghini stand, with the unveiling of a new hardcore variant of the Huracan. Rumored to be called the Huracan Performant, spy shots of the car reveal an aggressive aero pack including a huge new rear wing and additional power building on the car's 602 bhp 5.2 liter V10 could be on the cards too. Land Rover After we revealed that it was coming back in June 2016, Land Rover has fully unveiled its new Range Rover Velar SUV. Designed to sit between the Evoque and the Range Rover Sport, the Velar features a crisp and modern design and a new in-control touch duo infotainment system. Lexus We've already seen the Lexus LS at Detroit but the new wafty luxury car will take pride of place on the brand's Geneva stand in hybrid form. The new LS500H is capable of racing 87 miles per hour on battery power alone and uses the multi-stage hybrid system first seen on the Lexus LC Coupe. McLaren McLaren has introduced a new car at Geneva for the last four years, and will continue its streak this year with a new Super Series model to replace the 650s. Rumored to be called 720s, the Woking-based company has revealed a little information ahead of the car's reveal such as its new all-carbon mono-cage 2 chassis and active rear wing, but most details remain under wraps. It should arrive with more power, and our spy shots suggest McLaren has plenty to hide in the design stakes. Mercedes Mercedes's Geneva debut list is longer than almost every other brand going. The biggest debut there is the new E-Class Cabrio, which Merck says completes the E-Class family. However, what will arguably garner more attention is the absolutely bombastic new Mercedes Maybach G650 Landelette. It boasts a convertible roof for the rear seat passengers, who also get S-Class style reclining seats, a glass partition, plus a 10-inch infotainment display each. Limited to 99 units, the Landolette won't be coming to the UK. We can also and we can expect to see the new E63 for MATIC estate, and a series of AMG special editions will be unveiled at the Geneva show, too. Mitsubishi 
it wouldn't be a motor show without a new crossover, and Mitsubishi will step up to the plate at Geneva 2017 with a new family car to take the fight to the Nissan Qashqai. The new Eclipse Cross will sit above the ASX in Mitsubishi's range, and the first pictures confirm a design closely following the XRFEV concept. We've driven a prototype, and you can read our impressions here. Nissan Nissan says it has exciting crossover news planned for Geneva 2017 and we've been expecting a Cash K facelift for around a year now, following on from last year's Cash K premium concept reveal. The Cash K facelift should take on some of the premium concept's minor cosmetic alterations, but big new tech will be the car's showpiece, with semi-autonomous driving modes rumored to feature. Pagani one of the standout hypercar debuts scheduled this year will be on the Pagani stand, as the Italian manufacturer unveils the Huayra Roadster a drop-top version of the Huayra. 7.53 bhp and over 1000 nm of torque is promised, but it'll be limited to 100 units all of which have already been sold. Peugeot The shooting brake lives. This Peugeot Instinct concept car is long, sleek, and hooks up to Samsung's Arctic Cloud, a service that supports the Internet of Things, IAT, connectivity for everything from smartphones to fridges, fitness monitors and home thermostats. It's powered by a 297 BHP plug-in system and is fully autonomous. Pinanfarina F1 legend Emerson Fittipaldi has joined forces with Pini Farina and WA to create the EF7 Vision Gran Turismo by Pininfarina, a new supercar making its debut at the show with a 592 bhp V8. It'll be recreated digitally to feature in the Gran Turismo series of games. Another vehicle on the Pininfarina stand will be the hybrid Kinetic H600 a premium saloon concept designed and built by Pininfarina on behalf of Hong Kong-based hybrid Kinetic Group. Little is known, other than its name alongside image we have here, but it's a luxury sedan concept and new energy propulsion is promised. Porsche The Panamera family is growing, as Porsche's latest creation, the Panamera Sport Turismo, is set for a full debut at the Motor Show. However, don't think that it's a proper estate, as there is only 25 extra liters of boot space on offer compared to the standard saloon. The Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid will also be there, which has a whopping 671 bhp, and Auto Express understands that a facelift Porsche 911 GT3 could be there, too. Renault Renault looks set for a quiet Geneva show this year. The French firm has only confirmed one new model ahead of press day next week, the newly facelift Capture crossover. Design tweaks are kept to a minimum, with new LED running lights, tweaks to the front grille and minor alterations at the back. Skoda Skoda is planning on taking Geneva 2017 by storm with a swathe of new models. Along with the hottest Octavia ever in the form of the Octavia VRS 245, there's also the facelift Citigo and Rapid models to spot, too. Plus, if you want your Kodiak SUV either more rugged or more sprightly, Skoda is showing off its new Scout and Sporty line trim levels for your pleasure. Seat Seat intends to make a splash at this year's show with the introduction of an all-new fifth-generation Avisa Super Mini, ushering a new look closely following the angular new facelift Leon in design. Seat busied itself in 2016 with the launch of its first SUV the Ateca and the new Avisa will form the basis of a smaller SUV, known as the Arona, later in the year. Sanjiang Sanjiang will uncover a concept car previewing a new midsize SUV, which will rival the Kia Sorento and Hyundai Santa Fe when it goes into production. Called the Zavel concept, the shady teaser images hint at a car using an evolution of the firm's design language, while a seven-seat cabin has been touted. Subaru A year on from appearing in concept form, the new Subaru 15 is set to make its debut. Our teaser image suggests the final design will stay very close to the Geneva 2016 concept, and hybrid power could be on the table along with conventional boxer petrol and diesel engines. It'll go on sale later in 2017. Suzuki 
A next-generation Suzuki Swift is on the way and primed for a full reveal this March, though we've already seen what the new Suzuki Super Mini looks like. It gets a sporty, angular new design setting it apart from the rounder, more sensible Bailano. It's a larger car than the outgoing model but lighter thanks to its new chassis, and it should be on sale this summer before a new Swift Sport in 2018. Tech Rules Tech Rules introduced the AT96 hypercar concept at the Geneva show last year, though this year the firm promises to go one better with a production-ready display of its turbine recharging electric vehicle, Trev. The car is previewed in our teaser image, and should the figures be comparable to last year's concept, a powertrain developing in excess of 1,000 bhp could be on the cards. Toyota Toyota has confirmed that the next Yaris will get a hot hatch variant to mark the company's return to the World Rally Championship, and will get a full reveal of the new Ford Fiesta ST rival at Geneva. Details are still scant, but we've got official pictures showing off the new Yaris wearing a lively body kit and Toyota promises that it'll develop more than 210 bhp. The iTrill is another concept car heading for Geneva. Toyota has confirmed that the iTrill is an electric vehicle, and the teaser image suggests a tall and thin shape, so think along the lines of the Toyota I rode from a few years back. Vauxhall Vauxhall intends to push the Insignia further upmarket in 2017 with the introduction of the new Insignia Grand Sport a classier, more high take on its saloon with the BMW 3 Series in its sights. Inspired by 2013's Monza concept, the Grand Sport ushers in a four-door coupe look, made it to a longer wheelbase. A plush new cabin loaded with tech and a revised engine lineup signal Vauxhall's new aspirational ambition. The estate sports tourer model will also be at the show. Volkswagen The Insignia Grand Sport won't be the only new aspirational four-door coupe at the show though VW will debut the Arteon, a replacement for the Passat CC and new rival for the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. The totally new model will be a step up in quality compared to the CC it replaces, with a sleek new design, new technology, and a starting price of around £30,000 when it goes on sale this autumn. We've driven an early prototype, and you can read our impressions so far here. Alongside the Arteon, the Tiguan Allspace will make its European debut. Volvo Volvo's reinvention is in full swing and the brand's next car to go under the knife is the midsize XC60 SUV. We've only seen teasers so far but from Volvo's current design trend and the image above, we can safely assume it will look like a mini XC90 and could see stuff like the brand's power pulse engine tech trickle into the range. Geneva Motor Show, Location, 2017 Dates and Ticket Prices Planning a trip the Geneva Motor Show this year? Below is some of the key information you'll need to get a ticket, and get there at the right time. Dates The Geneva Motor Show opens with two press days and this year they're on Tuesday March 7th and Wednesday March 8th, although there are a number of press preview events, where key cars will be revealed, on the evening of Monday March 6th. After that, the show doors open to the public from Thursday, March 9th and it's every car fan for him or herself. The final day of the 2017 Geneva Motor Show is Sunday, March 19th. Opening Hours On weekdays days when the Geneva Show is open to the public the show halls are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. On weekend public days it's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Location the Giant Pale Expo Exhibition Center is the home of the Geneva Motor Show. The address is, Route Francois Peyrat 30, 1218 L.E. Grand Sacon X, but Pale Expo is right next to the Geneva Airport so it couldn't really be easier to find. The proximity to the airport means there are good train and bus links from elsewhere in Geneva and although the Pale Expo car parks are reserved for exhibitors, driving is an option. Parking facilities are provided near the venue with an estimated 5,000 spaces during the week and 10,000 spaces on weekends to be found within a 5 km radius of the venue. Just be prepared for some heavy traffic. Tickets 
Geneva Motor Show 2017 tickets are available from the official website. The cost isn't unreasonable given how much there is to see, with adults charged 16 Swiss francs, about 13 pounds. Pensioners, disabled people, and children between 6 and 16 will only have to pay 9 Swiss francs, around 7 pounds, and there's a 50% discount on any tickets bought after 4 p.m. on the day of entry.